hello and welcome to my youtube channel my name is moses thank you very much guys for joining me in, in this journey um i don't know if you guys like the new filter many black and white you know wanted to see how uh different filters will look i really like this one it makes everything look black in the background and outshines me which is really good so just to get started i love a good computer and i like it to work well and sometimes i have you know i've used the mac and i've liked it and i've liked the functionalities of it but i didn't quite get to grips with uh, the layout and and, and the template of it so i thought how could i get some of those features of mac on a pc and i started to look i started to search and i found um, a few of them that I like. So there's one which is the quick search, which brings up a bar that allows you to kind of search for any applications or app and, and so on and so on. And there's one that allows you to view photos uh, before you actually open them, which is a really good feature to have on a computer where, um, because I've changed my photo uh, viewer as it is from the Windows one, uh, to a different one and sometimes it doesn't show me the pictures directly actually it doesn't show me at all it really doesn't and it's frustrating because I have to double click and because I don't name my photos like any other uh, good Windows user and uh, uh, unorganized individual when it comes to things like that um, you know it becomes frustrating when you're trying to look for the photo and you have to open it each one or you have to kind of remember whether you saved a particular name so what we're going to do i'm going to show you these two um these two uh applications that i use on my pc that makes it easier for life when i'm using it and it just kind of gives you an overall feel to a better system and how windows should be should have been built to be honest because windows is a, a good operating system and it works really well so i want to show you all of these things coming up right now uh, but before we get there just want to remind you a quick thing like comment subscribe guys you don't know what that means to me it helps it gives the view of moving up in the world when i get a new subscriber i celebrate it and as if life itself had just begun again yes you heard me say that right when i get a comment i read them um when i get a like i love it it's it's enjoyable to see so when you do those things big appreciation but let's get into the video right now. So let's go to the PC. So the first one that we're gonna talk about is Wox and how Wox work it is a, a straight up word search bar. You can't see it now. Let me just open up Google here for you guys just to have a look at what it may look like. So it's this black bar here. You can change the color and the settings and stuff like that. Uh, if you just tap in here, Wox. Uh, it will come up with everything that you need, not just for Windows, blah, blah, blah. Or if you just type in settings, yeah, here we are. So if you type in settings, it will bring up the settings of the applications. And, um, you know, you can have it hide at the start of the menu. I have it coming up already. Just in case I want to quick search something, you have plugins here that you can put. Um, you can customize the search, whether you wanted to search for control panels, uh, settings and control panels, you know, everything in your file, in your folders, plugins, so forth and so on. So it's such a good app that you can use it even to search uh, straight up into a website. So just to give you an example, you know, if I do www.youtube.com, hopefully this works, youtube.com, it, it opens straight up, which is really cool. Um, so those are one of the cool features that you have on this application and it really works well. So how to download it on your computer. If you just go type in walks on, on Google, uh, it will bring up this page here and it's the first one, which is www.walks.1, which is the website. If you click on that, um, um, you have themes here, documents that you can see how the operation works and so forth and so on. You have plugins so you can add more stuff. You can add Google Translator. You can add clipboard history. It's a really cool app that you can use. You can even add a YouTube function on there where you can you know, type YouTube and then type the type of video that you wanna watch. It's really, really good. And it will work well for those who are on Windows. Then you have the theme, you know, how you want it to look. You can customize it and then download it before actually installing the app. So you can download the whole, you customize your theme before you download it. So you can have it look the way you want it to look basically, which is really cool. So to download it, go back to the to the works page, click on download. It will take you to the uh, github.com. 
um, scroll down and on what you're gonna see is this here version 1.3524 and if you come here and click on the one that is exe or download the file straight away for you you also have like a, a full package a compatible package but it's a previous model um, which is the 1.3.4 but this is the right one which is the new one that is ready to install once you click on this it will download uh, the file down here ignore the warning just press keep and then just double click and it will install the application for you so that's number one number two we're gonna do this together this one is on uh, Windows uh, Windows Store and it's called quick look it is a really good application you see why I don't like Windows apps they just take forever to load like, literally um, but while we wait to load I'll tell you what it is it's a quick look app that allows you to view your photos before you actually uh, open them. so if you just type in here quick look if I can spell, quick look uh, click on the first one you do have uh, a paid version as well that you can pay for it which I think gives you a little bit better quality on how things are um, but this is it so just wait for this to download I will fast forward this part for you guys but it's almost done it's actually literally done you can't fast forward all done uh, so once you click launch Products already installed. So all you need to do is download it, click launch, and it's already there. You get this notification here. It says quick click enables quick view of certain types of files by pressing the space bar while it has been highlighted. So I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna go to my download folder. Clearly uh, download. <laughs> so I've yet to really fire explorer here we are uh, uh, downloads so probably not the best place to go let's go to photos see if I have any photos yes, yes I do um, this is gonna be embarrassing let's have a look okay drive it easier uh, okay cool so it's as simple as that you just press spacebar and it gives you the preview of the image and um, you can click next and next and so forth and so on I don't know why I went into this view but <laughs> there you are now you see why having different photos um, having different having this application kind of helps you view photos even before you actually open it so it kind of gives you an overall view so I haven't even actually opened it just click spacebar and it's brought up um, one of the things that I was searching on there and um, so it's quite important to, to have this application so that is it so with that said thank you very much guys for watching um see you in the next one so